Hello, this is Ajay. Uh, this is our presentation for AC assignment uh, of implementing bubble sort algorithm and uh, testing it for various processors, various compilers and OS. Our problem statement was writing a C program for sort million integers of uh, existing in a file. Uh, then comparing the bubble sort algorithm using different processors, compilers and operating system. Initially, we planned for a billion integer, but the file size was 11 GB. So it was not possible to run bubble sort program on that. So we are reduced it to 10 million, but 10 million file size was okay. It was approximately taking 80 MB of size, but uh, run while we are running the program, we are discovered that it took three days to complete the procedure. So we are reduced the our data set size to 1 million. Uh, then we are uh, written a bash script for automation purposes uh, because testing for we are planned to test for different number of integers uh, like 10,000, 20,000 uh, and uh, 2 lakh, 3 lakh, 8 lakh then last it limit was the 10 lakh. So for automation purpose we written a bash script uh, for our ease. So we began the analysis of uh... Uh, the our task by comparing the bubble sort algorithm in the systems of uh, systems having various processors. So for this, uh, we uh, test we take the number of samples as command line argument, and then we prepared an array of that size using malloc function of C. We generated a random number using the rand function of C. Then we performed the bubble sort operation on array and stored the result in a text result dot text file. Uh, we use bash script as explained by Ajay for automation of testing. Next, let us see. Um, uh, for the first we took Ryzen 5 versus uh, Intel Core i5. Uh, some of the specifications that we uh, took as the baseline for all the processors that we compared were, were a processor, base speed, core, logical processor, L1 cache, L2 cache, and L3 cache. Uh, depending upon the uh, performance of performance variations uh, on these specifications uh, for uh, um, running the bubble sort algorithm we deduced a result of uh, which performed better so as we see the result uh, we took uh, the uh, we compared the um, result of intel i5 and amd ryzen for uh, different amounts of uh, uh, integer value starting from 100 1000 uh, 1 lakh so on and uh, we see the result as uh, result uh, so because of the L1 cache, uh, we can see that uh, L2 cache and L3 cache basically. Uh, as we can see that the L2 cache uh, of uh, Intel Core i5 is 5.0 MB, uh, which is greater than that of 0.2.0 uh, MB of Ryzen and uh, 8.0 MB of L3 cache, which is greater than uh, uh, 4.0 MB of Ryzen. So next, next we. Uh, um, uh, uh, we took uh, we took a comparison of uh, a different generation um, of the Intel uh, uh, Intel processors that is uh, Intel i3, i5, i7, and i9. And as you can see, the specifications of uh, all the processors. And next, this this was the result that we deduced by running the bubble sort algorithm on the different system uh, comprising of i3, i5, i7, and i9. And um, uh, we can see that uh, uh, the uh, as expected the i9 outranked all the lower generation processors because of higher l1 cache and higher clock speed and l1 cache is uh, also considered as a ram uh, for the processor and uh, as you can see the uh, l1 cache of uh, a core i9 processor is greater than all the other uh, cache size of l1 Next, uh, we compared uh, the result for i9 processor versus Apple M1 Max processor. And uh, uh, you can see the system specification of Core i9 and uh, um, uh, M1 Max. The result that we got was uh, almost comparable. Uh, but uh, the um, 
but it was not a noticeable difference was uh, observed uh, and uh, both took almost same time uh, for the uh, execution um, apple um, had more l1 cache as you can see compared to i9 10th generation processor so uh, apple m1 max chip outperformed the core i9 processor in a with a very slight margin for the next text we compare different compilers that are clang gcc icc tcc lcc as we can observe the gcc is the most popular one we all use for comparing c program also we have done our research and search for more compilers that are clang icc tcc and lcc compilers for the testing we have used a uh, core i5 11th generation processor uh, that specs was shown uh, in earlier slides uh, we run the executable file of all the five compilers in the same system uh, after the test we concluded that the intel compiler outperformed all of the other compilers as we can see intel c compiler was a 33.3 percent faster than the gcc compiler and 10 percent faster than the c lang and at 50 percent faster than the lcc compiler as we can conclude the winner is intel c compiler uh, uh, in the testing we are observed that the average cpu time of icc was 4.37 that is significant significantly larger than the other one gcc tcc and lcc so we conclude that this was the main reason of outperformance of the icc compiler uh, and other observations are gcc compiler came third in the place uh, no it come, came third in yes, it, it came third in the place because uh, of the clang icc and tcc compiler unexpectedly uh, the tcc compiler is a tiny c compiler produces a very small size of executable file that was 4 kb as compared to the 50 kb of gcc compiler output file it was so lightweight so it performed the outperformed the gcc compiler the most popular one uh, the lcc compiler was taking significantly uh, smaller amount of average cpu time that was 0.43 percent so it it not performed well in the test the test was also performed with different operating systems. The test was performed by compiling the source code using GCC compiler and uh, running the program in different operating systems available in open source. For the test, we used three different operating systems such as Windows 11, Ubuntu 24.0.1 and Kali Linux 2022.3. We used Oracle VirtualBox to use the different operating system because directly installing it as a primary operating system in the laptop was challenging and involved a good amount of risk and challenges so we decided to run in the os in oracle virtual box 6.1 so let us know what, what is the test method we used the gcc compiler output for the test to download the to download and use the gcc compiler in kali linux and ubuntu type the command was sudo apt install gcc for a window for Windows, download it from the link given in 3.1 section. And then we use it GCC C compiler because it is popular in all the three operating system and easily installable. During the testing, all the other application were closed. So after the test, we, we concluded or we observed that uh, Windows was taking less or Windows is faster than other two operating systems such as Kali, Linux and Ubuntu. As we can see in the graph, uh, it is clear that uh, Windows was taking less time to sort the million numbers compared to the both Kali Linux and Ubuntu operating system. Uh, during the during the test, Windows was uh, using uh, about 4 GB of RAMs, but uh, Kali Linux and Ubuntu were using around 1 GB of uh, RAM. After running it in three different operating system, the main observation was we noticed the in Kali Linux and Ubuntu only one CPU core was 100% being utilized and the remaining three were in minimal usage and the overall CPU usage was around 23 to 26%. But in Windows, something different was observed. Two cores uh, are in use 100, in 100% and after some, some time, the core 4 and 5 were at the 100% usage. The overall CPU usage was the same as in the Linux and Unix. 
uh, now we compared the performance between a smartphone and a laptop so as previously uh, used uh, we are using the same laptop which is i5 11 gen intel processor and in in case of smartphone we are using mediatek um, helio P, p70 which is a octa core processor with uh, um, and and a gpu with 8 gb of ram uh, so as we can see that in case of smartphone uh, it doesn't necessarily have a processor we call it system on chip so the reason we call it system on chip is because uh, in case of smartphones the chip, the uh, processor uh, also contains gpus and uh, suppose camera sensors and all those sorts of thing along with the processor so that's why they are called system on chips and um, because of this reason uh, there is a difference between uh, a laptop's processor and a mo mobile phone processor uh, and this causes some performance uh, difference between the two of them as well so <clears throat> as we can see the results over here that the the smartphone has uh, taken more time compared to the laptop so we can say that laptop can perform better in the same conditions whereas a smartphone will lack uh, the performance as it is system on chip and uh, in case of laptop it contains a pure processor and uh, we can uh, i i would also like to add that the uh, clock speed of the mobile was 9.1.9 gigahertz and the laptop was 4.2 gigahertz and the laptop processor was uh, 121% faster than the uh, mobile processor which is system on chip and uh, we also observed that the laptop was able to clock a higher clock speed uh, and um, i would also like to add that system on chip consumes less power compared to the laptop's processor because it is uh, more lightweight and it is built to save uh, batteries energy so that uh, a, a mobile phone can be used for a large duration of time whereas in the case of laptop it is built for performance and not power saving and how to uh, utilize the battery in a better way so uh, we would like to end our uh, pr presentation with this and i hope that uh, you have learned something from our experiments performed and it would be beneficial for for everyone who who has seen this and the google sheets for the test and the results charts can be uh, looked at by through this link thank you